Greetings, 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 royal family. I am back. You're back. Thanks for clicking on the video. Welcome back. All right, got a quick video. I like these little quick videos. Get straight to the point, not too long and lengthy, right? So, Tawanda Braxton, uh, the Braxton sister, secret squirrel Tawanda, she's getting engaged and her family found out in a odd way they keep so many secrets amongst them do they get along they be faking like they get along but i don't think all of them get along anyway also cardi b gets a stern warning from prosecutors oh yes oh yes she still has open cases plural so i'll definitely touch on that and dr dre is making some headway I didn't have nothing else to rhyme with that. But he's making some headway, and he had a small victory in court. Definitely going to touch on that. So, as always, please make sure you are liking the video. I greatly appreciate it. That's your admission fee. Also, drop your comments. I love reading your comments and engaging with you guys. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. Tawanda Braxton, of course, this is as per TMZ. So her family was shocked, mainly her sister and her mama, Miss Evelyn. So, of course, it always goes down at the airport. Now, let me see if I could play this video. Most of you probably seen it already, but for those of you who haven't, like to hear it, here you go. My line. You know, a lot going on. How's, there's, there's how's, Tam, how's Tamar? You know, we're, we're hopeful and we're praying. Praying, you know. praying for her? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. In other words, Tamar said, don't be getting on the team. Don't be getting on Harvey and them and telling my business. They never they never say anything when it comes to Tamar and her multiple issues. Anyway, let, let's back to you. Back to you, Trina. She, she's going to get through. You know, a lot, we were worried about her. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. you guys worried about her? Yes, of course. Um, is she... Is she out of the woods yet when it comes to, to the, to the, well, to, to you know, the uh, mental health? Me the mental whole... health is a real thing, you know what I mean? And um, all you can do is pray, be helpful, and uh, be there. Uh, Tr Trina, you all right, sis? Y'all see what I see? She probably just tired, right? She, she tired. All right, y'all. Back, back, back to you, Trina. Your family. Uh -huh. You know, no one is exempt. No, you know, so, it doesn't discriminate. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So um, uh, we, we are there as a family, mm -hmm. and um, that's all we can do. All right, anything you can tell the restraining order that David, Ooh. that whole... Um, when it comes to David, I have nothing positive to say. Uh-huh. Um, if you don't have anything good to say, don't say anything at all? Exactly. So... Uh, Y'all said the same thing about Vince. Y'all said the same thing about Vincent Herbert. And now all of a sudden, he's a hero. Make sure you guys are checking out my Tamar Braxton Get Your Life reviews. I know I'm a little bit behind, but if you haven't seen the first two uh, reviews for the first two episodes, check it out. Back to you, Trina. Uh, I'm going to leave that where it is. Tawanda's engaged. I'm hoping that she's engaged. Okay. Wait, so I, so I got to ask. Yes. We saw her yesterday. Yes. And she told us she's getting married. <gasps> Did she? Wait, wait. She's what? Oh, are you messing with me right now? No, are you messing with me right now? Are you now? messing with me right now? She said she's getting married? She said they're getting married. He called and told me. We had a conversation about it. He told you? Sean she was... Sean and I had a conversation about it. Evelyn? Mom. Mom, we need you over here. Why? Well, you, because... You have to come here right now. Right this second. <laughs> Evelyn said, why? See, the last time... <laughs> The last time Harvey and them caught up with Miss Evelyn, she done said she wasn't supposed, she said some things that she wasn't supposed to say. Remember when she was like, everybody needs to keep them hand their hands to themselves, for God's sakes, when she was talking about Vince and Tamar? <laughs> Miss Evelyn said, I ain't falling for the Harvey 52 fake out. <laughs> okay. You're the matriarch of the family. Yeah. To one, yeah so, so, so to Wanda, we saw to Wanda married. yesterday, and she told us she's getting married. Was she pulling her leg? Uh, <laughs> well, this is She had a ring on. We saw the ring. Well, you know what Beyonce said. What, what does Beyonce say? <laughs> gotta put a ring on it. You gotta put a ring on it. Bye, Miss Evelyn. Beyonce say gotta put a ring on it. They probably knew. They probably already knew. Ugh. 
The Braxton family values will be returning in November, and I can't wait. I thought it was going to be last season was going to be the final season, but apparently they're they're coming back, and we are going to see uh, Trina get married because you know she is engaged to um, Vaughn. Nice, nice guy. Nice guy. All right. So listen to what Tawanda Secret Squirrel Braxton had to say. Well, her man Sean Harvey and them caught up with them at the airport too. Never mind. Like, like to hear it. Here go. My line. Are you coming out here for any special occasion? Is uh, Tony getting married or anything? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you know something I don't know? Yeah, I, I, you know, you, you're out here in L.A. We, <laughs> who's this handsome fella? You know, you, you out here on the dating scene now, y'all? Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> yeah, we getting married. What's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's that? We, we getting married. Oh, uh, y'all getting married? Uh -huh. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, man, congratulations. Y'all ain't joking with me, is y'all? <laughs> I wouldn't joke about that. All right. No, congratulations. Thank you, brother. So I think that video came first. Yeah, that video came first. Let me tell you something about these Braxton sisters. They 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 can get a little bit annoying at times. Real talk. They could definitely get annoying. Nobody talks to anybody. Nobody show well, let me not say nobody talks to anybody. They show up for who they want to show up for. Tawanda, that mask was really ugly. It looks like she had like plastic around her mouth, but at least she's wearing a mask. So tell me what you guys think about Tawanda Braxton, quote unquote, shocking the family with an engagement. Do you think it's bogus? Do you think, especially Trina? I think Trina knew. I definitely think, think that Trina knew. But whatever. Are you guys going to be watching the Braxton family values when they return? I know I will. I definitely will. All right. Who's up next? Ooh, child. This is according to page six, prosecutors warn Cardi B that the plea deal over that strip club situation may expire. So Queen's prosecutors patience with Cardi B appears to be wearing thin as they warn Wednesday that a plea offer over her alleged involvement in a strip club situation may not be on the table much longer. Now, plea deal talks with the Bronx Rays WAP rapper. Why do they do that? Instead of just putting their name, they put like some sort of like <laughs> descriptive, dramatic, you know, wording together. Anyway, um, so this case has been going on since early 2019, and it definitely remains open. This is the plea deal anyway, despite Cardi's legal team initially rejecting the offer over a year ago. But assistant district attorney Ryan Nicolosi suggested Wednesday that the clock was ticking. So the people are offering, the people are offering for the last time an offer of a misdemeanor. We are not going to go lower than a misdemeanor. This is what Nicolosi said during a virtual hearing, which was not attended by Cardi B or her two co-defendants. We are again offering this misdemeanor, but we cannot guarantee that that offer will be held open or offered again in the future. So even as Nicolosi kept the channel open, he admitted that it seemed unlikely a deal could be struck. We all had many conversations regarding the possibility of a plea, what a plea could look like if any of the defendants were willing to take the plea, he said. But it seems like there is not going to be a plea. There doesn't seem to be a meeting of the minds. As the talks have gone on, the August 2018 jiggle joint <laughs> Oh my God. So uh, yeah, this situation fades further and further into the rearview mirror. In a nutshell, Cardi B has an offer on the table. Y'all know what happened. You know, she allegedly, you know, hurled a hookah pipe uh, and two drinking glasses at a pair of bartender sisters um, at a, a club, a strip club, basically. This is according to authorities. So she allegedly attacked the sisters who go by Jade and Batty G because she believed they were in relations with her husband. Now, you know that Cardi B and Offset are now separated. And I wonder if this divorce filing, Cardi B filed for divorce, has anything to do with this case. 
Hmm. Two pals of Cardi were allegedly, uh, they allegedly also got into the situation and prosecutors say that this was basically pre premeditated. So Cardi, she's only 27. This is so crazy. She pleaded not guilty to the charges topped by two counts of felony attempted assault. Yikes. Lawyers for the three defendants told Nicolosi on Wednesday that they would relay to their clients that the plea offer may have an expiration date. Cardi B's attorney didn't immediately respond to a request for comment. Page six reached out to them. They didn't want to hear it. So you mean to tell me that there's a plea deal on the table of a misdemeanor, not a felony of a misdemeanor. And you decide to say nothing. What do you guys think is going to happen with this case? And if they take the plea deal off the table, then where does that leave Cardi? She wants to go to trial, I guess. Right. Is that is that what's happening? Where are all my Law and Order SVU and Law and Order uh, royal family members? Drop down in the comments and let me know. All right, good luck, Cardi. Man, your pockets must be whew, getting dry because you got to pay lawyers for this case. You got to pay lawyers for other cases that you got open. It's too much. It's way too much. But she doesn't seem to be bothered. She doesn't talk about it at all. So I guess we'll see how it plays out. Best wishes, best wishes. Dr. Dre, this is according to TMZ, he wins legal battle. Nicole is saying that she's getting, you see it there. Now, Dr. Dre just won a battle in court. So the judge in their divorce case just rejected Nicole Young's request for $1.5 million to pay for various expenses, including security. And the judge rejected her request to accelerate her claim that Dr. Dre should pay $5 million for her lawyer fees and other costs. Now, Nicole's lawyers were in court uh, recently and they were telling the judge that Nicole needs the $1.5 million for security because she has been receiving you know what. Now, the money would also go for other expenses. Some of the people commenting on the divorce have said things like if she goes she goes and for a small fee she could vanish so this is why nicole feels like she has to hire you know security so the judge rejected her claim in part because she got rid of her security team that dr dre was paying for she claimed that dre was too controlling and wanted to hire security and she wanted to hire security on her own she claimed that dre said that he was going to fire the security if they didn't follow his orders. Now, the judge rejected her request, and Dre's lawyer, Laura Wasser, told the judge Dre is still willing to pay all of Nicole's expenses pending the divorce, including security. Oh, Nicole, girl, you what? what is it that you really want? He is still willing... Let me just keep reading. The judge ordered that Nicole could select a private security company for her personal protection, but it can't cost more than Dre was paying. Now, Nicole's lawyers, they also asked the judge to move up the hearing on their attorney's fee. See, these, these, these lawyers, her lawyer only wants money. So this lawyer, because the lawyer is asking for $5 million, or Nicole is asking for $5 million for lawyer fees. That's probably what her lawyer was in her ear telling her. And the lawyer, Nicole's lawyer, had the audacity to ask the judge to move speed up the hearing on their attorney's fees specifically. They're asking Dre to pay $5 million in lawyer's fees and costs for Nicole. The hearing was set for January, but the lawyers wanted it held this month. Well, yeah, this month. This month? When does this article come out? It doesn't matter. The judge rejected the request. Bottom line. Judge said no. In rejecting Nicole's argument, the judge noted there are serious DV and custody cases he has to deal with. And this is not in the same universe. The judge did say, however, if Dre exercised control over Nicole, she should file for a restraining order. The judge said, look, we got real hands on situations. I'm not wasting my time moving this up so that this lawyer can get $5 million, which the judge is probably not going to grant anyway, because these prices are astronomical and ridiculous. Dr. Dre is still willing to pay for security for Nicole, but it cannot, she can hire her own private security since she fired the security guards that Dre had. Okay. Makes sense. 
she want to hire. The judge said, look, you can hire who you want to hire, but it cannot exceed the amount that Dre was paying previously. Dre is still willing to pay for her security. I don't know what's going on, but this seems like one big mess. And Nicole's lawyer, something ain't right about that lawyer. That lawyer said, look, I want my money now. But then again, Nicole was a lawyer. So she may be setting the bar very high. So that the, with the hopes that the judge will maybe reject her high bid and give her something. Five million dollars in lawyer fees. What is this lawyer doing? You're not winning. <laughs> the judge said no, 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 and no. Unbelievable. I don't know. This is bad. And the kids are seeing this play out. It, it's so sad. It's so sad. But... That's all I got, Royal Family. Drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. Dr. Dre and Nicole Young's divorce is is exhausting. And I ain't even I'm not married to neither one of them. Duh, right? I'm not a part of this marriage and it's already exhausting. So let me know what you think about Tawanda Braxton allegedly surprising her family with the engagement announcements. Uh, it's bogus. It's good for uh ratings because remember braxton family values is coming back in november tell me what you think about cardi b's plea deal getting ready to expire and if you've been keeping up with dr dre and his soon to be ex-wife at uh, dre at this point it's probably cheaper to keep a good grief good grief all right royal family i'm signing off can't wait to read your comments like the video if you liked it if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button click the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads I love you for listening and watching. I'm signing off. Until next time, folks. Peace.